Capricorn. What's popping? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. <laughs> if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? Um, all of you guys who have recently subscribed to my old subscribers, y'all, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. I truly, truly appreciate you. I truly, truly does. I does. I'm going to tell y'all like I told Taurus. I ain't hiding this damn nail. I've been so busy. Um, I've really been literally in front of a computer in my damn phone for the last, <laughs> since Friday, okay? So I had to um, end out that reading special. And I apologize so much, y'all, for getting to y'all late. But, you know, it is what it is. Mocha got a life. As you can see, my surrounding is possibly going to be changing for the next two weeks or so. I am currently working on moving as well. So it is going down, okay? All right, so this will be from now until the 30th of September for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches of Capricorn. And what's popping in the life of a Capricorn anyway between now and the 30th of September? Y'all finding self love? Y'all learning to trust y'all self? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, 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 you, oh, 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 so you going new, new. Huh? Hmm? That's what you're doing? You going new, new? You starting it up new, new? Or that Leo, though? We rocking. I ain't going to tease y'all. Let's get it. <laughs> the first message comes from um, the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And, you know, usually I don't let... I, I usually have my um my setup right in front of me. But because, you know, I'm transparent, we family, I was just like, hell no. I want to show everybody my little funk shui. Because this is how Mocha be over there getting her peace, okay? So when I be like, y'all, ain't shit on fire. Speaking of which, let me write that thing on up. Hold on, y'all. Let me be like my Instagram. Got my little protection candles over here. Got that shmoney candle going. A second. All right, Capricorn. One second. We up two, two, two. Look, look at that. It's funny because I'm doing something for me. Two, 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 hit that screen. I was doing something for me that makes me happy. And my Bahama Mama incense makes me happy. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Think that's a sign. Balance. Bring balance back to doing things for the self. Yeah, you do everything for everybody else. You a hell of a provider for your household. Yeah, that's true. But what about you, though? We rocking. So the message that you guys receive... Uh, between now and the 30th of September was Dolomite. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. I definitely believe that was in accordance to your spread here. This card symbolizes a different kind of strength. Built on foundation of trusting your inner guidance. Trust yourself. Not aggressive towards yourself or anyone else. It recognizes the need to honor everyone's feelings and rights. The message here is to stay internally focused upon your guidance. Keep your mind and heart filled with faith, even if your path seems illogical and you feel anxious or afraid. Immerse yourself in positive activities such as reading, uplifting material, listening to gentle music, and attending spiritual or religious gatherings that boost your faith. This card means that your outcome is dependent on keeping a positive mindset, which you do have control over. By choosing to pray for help and making the choice to keep your surroundings as positive as possible, you embody divine feminine strength, which is needed even if you're male. This is also a sign to stay strong with respect to your personal beliefs and faith. Okay, So don't worry about it. If you're going to worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, don't worry. Okay, A lot of you guys will be connecting to the divine more than you ever have. A lot of you guys during this time are going to be moving past. You're going to stop looking at a situation. Of what someone did in the past for the actual for the actual pain that it caused, but for how strong how strong it made you to come out of the fire and rise up out that shit and be able to bounce right back. You understand? So that you can also kind of lead by example, okay, to those around you who are looking at you knowingly and unknowingly as someone who encourages them to keep going. Okay? I do see during this time you can expect a lot of abundance. A lot of abundance is coming to you guys after a period of self-reflection. You guys are learning to see the beauty in yourself and you're learning to trust yourself. Okay? A lot of you all 
are focused on. You see how this lady looking in this mirror? You focused on the self. Again, I told you, what about you? Okay, what about you? I feel like during this time, a lot of you guys are feeling very abundant. Some of you all are very fertile during this time, so be careful. If you're not trying to have a baby. But if you are, again, he goes, slow damn rabbits. Yeah, to, yeah. If you are trying to have a baby, this is the time, okay? You are fertile during this time, especially if you are a a young woman anywhere between the age of 19 and 35. I could even say 19 to 40, but I would say 35, okay? I also see that for those of you who are trying to have a baby, you need to balance with it. You need to balance your diet and balance your hormones more and also get more information regarding the new moon cycle and the full moon cycle and how you can allow that to work for you. Also, some of you all may have an issue. Um, some of you guys are needing to actually get past issues. Okay, I am seeing a, a prominent father figure here. Some of you guys will be working through issues with your father if this is the father of your child. Some of you guys are literally going to be able to see the beauty within yourself because I feel like some of you guys had someone in the past I feel a strong father figure grandfather this could be a baby father okay a child's father or a brother or that strong man energy strong male energy but I feel like maybe this person possibly could have tore you down and really made you look at yourself a bit different and now you feel like you're looking at yourself with this with new eyes during this time. And I feel like it's making you feel very, very abundant. And because your mindset is moving that way, you're inviting abundance into your life during this time. Okay. Some of you guys, some of you guys are definitely feeling like the emperor. You're empowered. Some of you guys are feeling like a great father, great mothers, great providers. You run your empire strongly with wisdom, enlightenment, fairness, but sternness, okay? Some of y'all could also be trying to reconcile with an Aries during this time. And I feel like you've really been all in your head about it. I've been you've been more so in your damn head about it than actually verbalizing, okay? I feel like some of you guys are wanting to reconcile, wanting to celebrate. Some of you guys could have also had um, an Aries person put you in a third party situation in the past. So this is why you're feeling a bit indecisive about this reconciliation, even though you really want to hold on to this person. Some of you all want to hold on to an earth sign during this time. And you're very going to, you're going to be indecisive about an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you definitely want to reconcile. You want things, if, if you are still together with this person, you're wanting things to be how they used to be because this person makes you feel empowered. This person is the person that drives this emperor energy as far as love that they give you, whether you want to admit it or not, because I see it strongly. Some of you all are going into new cycles, possibly with, um, for those of you who are trying to have children, that energy here is blessed. Okay? I feel that you need to definitely, definitely, definitely balance. You see, it's two babies here. Balance. And then with this damn, uh, sorry, then with this sun card, you have two tens. So for some of you all, you've had your foundations fall. For some of you all, you've literally been uprooted. But now you're coming, you're coming into a place of newness because this will this wheel of fortune, this wheel is turning, baby. Okay? So you can't live in the energy of what of what was. Alright? Some of you all some of you guys may be receiving some very cutting information during this time, okay? But spirit is wanting you to choose your integrity. Okay? You have the wisdom in order to move forward. Don't be afraid, okay? Because some of y'all have and some of y'all feel like you're alone. You're always protected, my baby. You always protected from them snakes. Watch out for the snakes during this time. And trust yourself because some of y'all got people who are there and they want to come up off you, not with you, okay? If you can't build with them, don't chill with them, period. During this time, some of you all want to offer some form of newness, okay? Uh, some of you all could, have, could be meeting a new Leo in your life during this time. Okay, after ending the cycle possibly with someone in the past who put you in a third party situation. Who was trying to hold on to you, you're in that cycle of your life. You're going into a new one, okay? And with this new cycle that you're going into in your life, some of y'all are focusing on your finances. You're just really focusing on building a solid foundation. You want, you know, you want something solid. Some of you all are actually focusing on building a some y'all, literally, some of y'all got a Gemini Libra Aquarius in y'all energy. I feel like this person can be very cutting with words. I feel like 
this person really does not acknowledge, you know, the great in what you do. And it really kind of make you feel a little, a little small. They try to make you feel small in order for their own gain. A lot of y'all are going to going to be going into this new cycle, and y'all gonna let this person know, look here, I'm good with or without your ass. So what you're not gonna do is clump in here and disrespect me, and I'm not gonna be in my head in this damn in, indecisive ass energy because I love you, because I love me more, so your ass can hit the door. Okay? I strongly feel like some of y'all gonna tell an air sign about themselves. This person could be an Aquarius. OK, I do see some of you all are actually putting in work to possibly fix a situation, a family situation that involves an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra or possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, it's with an Aries person. OK, some of you all uh, have someone in your energy stalking. And I feel like this person is watching you to see how many how somebody got somebody got an air sign in their energy watching their finances. It's like, again, they waiting for the come up. But they wouldn't with you shooting in the gym and they don't even know how to treat you. And spirit is trying to push you to a state of newness. And for some of y'all, this Leo person that's coming in your life that I'm seeing very strongly here is going to be a catalytic situation in order to let you make you let it go. Let it go, Capricorn. OK, some of you all. <clears throat> some of you all are, are going to feel possibly betrayed by an Aquarius during this time. Some of you are not literally not trusting the fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. You want to form a newness with this person. You want to start over. You want to work it out with this person. And you want to offer this person your cup of love. I want to start over, okay? I want to actually nurture you. I want to nurture you. However, some of y'all are afraid and not trusting the situation. Maybe because this person has been deceptive towards you in the past. So you like, man, hell no. I ain't I ain't I don't know if you even rocking with the kid. Do you even like the rock? Or your ass gonna roll? What you gonna do? <laughs> I need answers today. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all love y'all crazy asses. Crazy with me. My family, baby. Spirit, why is this emperor card here for my captains? Yeah. Some of you definitely want to hold on to a situation with an Aries, and maybe this person is trying to hold on to you. Some of y'all gonna find out this person trying to hold on to you for finances. Some of you all definitely want to start over, okay, and fix the and kind of bridge the gap or actually for offer forgiveness to someone who possibly could have put you in a third party situation. This could be this damn Aryan person. It could also be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well. Some of you all are definitely wanting to give love to this person. However, you're indecisive. You don't trust. You need him to trust. And trust what you feel. Trust what you feel. If this person is showing up in your damn dreams, the spirit is steady trying to tell you they ain't no damn good. Look here, what is you waiting for? Spirit don't lie, people lie. Okay? Yeah, some of you are ending a cycle, okay? Some of you are literally ending a cycle, possibly with a karmic soulmate, all right? And what you don't know is if you keep going and get out of that sad ass energy or get out of that energy of living in, living in the belief of what this person made you feel like you were, you don't even know your Ace of Cups is coming, possibly in the form of a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, what is damn Leo right here? Four pentacles here for my babies. Yeah, some of y'all are ending cycles with Taurus. Some of y'all are ending them with Leo and going meeting you a new water sign. Some of y'all are going into a new cycle with the water sign, especially if you have children with this person. You want a new cycle. You want something fresh. You want to offer that new beginning. But some of y'all possibly there could be issues in finances, okay? But it's your mindset that's keeping you stuck because you're living in that poverty mind. You're living in that poverty ass mindset. It's not going to get you far, baby. All right? Literally, I believe that saying, seeing is believing. I truly feel like that's backwards as fuck because for me, as being a cardinal Aries, your fellow cardinal sign, okay, you you guys are Capricorn, Cancer, Libra as well. What we bring to the world is literally that saying, seeing is believing is so backwards because and I, for us cardinals, we can't see it. Believing it is first. Because we are, we literally start here, thought, word, action. You understand? So when you believe it, you begin to speak it. You begin to manifest that. And when you manifest that, then you begin to move on that and make moves to do so. And then, then so be it, shall you show, so be it, shall you see it in the reality, on the surface. Okay? We bring, we build, we, 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 we bring and we build, we bring, we bridge and we make foundations. Okay? Yeah, some of you are wanting to hold on to someone. Possibly also an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a fire sign. You want to offer this person a new beginning. For some of you, it's water, especially if you have children with this person. Some of y'all could be cutting off 
Yeah, some of y'all could be cutting off uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could actually find out that this person has some side kids that's coming out the damn woodworks and you cutting them off. Some of you all could also be cutting off a Leo. Some of you all left a uh, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in the cold. Okay, and this person is literally trying to hold on to you to the point where they're becoming obsessive during this time. And it's, it has to do with your increase in finances. You moving up the ladder. Shit, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all on me. Okay, and you don't want to see their ass. Some of you are needing to trust your intuition, especially when it comes to working it out with the Aries. You feel like this person is going to be defensive towards you, but Capricorn, the worst that they can say is no. What if you really lost? You only lose if you say nothing. You only lose if you don't move on the opportunity. You only lose if you live in your damn head and you don't get your ass on your feet. Okay? Let the start part here. Yeah, some of you want to move forward to, to pursue your dreams. You're like, fuck love. I don't got time for it. It's too much damn drama. I ain't mad at you. Some of you guys are just focusing on work after a period of, after finding out some form of deception and leaving somebody in the cold, possibly. An air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you guys are healing a situation with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, because you love this person. And you want to move forward and communicate with them. But you're kind of indecisive about it. Some of you like, you're thinking more so about the obsessive thoughts of the turbulent waters from the past. While focusing on work instead of actually taking this time to go in hermit mode. And actually... Focus on this newness that you want to bring to the situation. But some of you, you de some of y'all don't trust the Virgo. And it has something to do possibly with an outside child that you could have found out about. But you needed to make a decision on what you're going to do. Do you be with this person? Do you try to work it out, baby? Or do you just focus on that shmoney? You earth signs looking like new shmoney. Capricorn towards Virgo. Y'all moving away from people and y'all 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 removing literally the blockages. Everybody ain't meant to eat with you, and some of y'all come to terms with that. A lot of y'all are really, really, really in y'all head about offering y'all cup for love. And for some of y'all, you got a you got a Gemini Libra Aquarius, baby. They they going through a period of anxiety without you. Because I felt like for some of you, you were the sole provider for this person. You have this person literally wasn't shit without you financially because they depended on you like the first and fifteenth, yet they was out there doing that old whole ass shit and some of y'all finna kick their ass to the curb and some of y'all are literally choosing yourself and when you do that money block what you thought what, what you thought where you, where you thought you were stagnant you're gonna be like the hell when you feel good you do better when you do a bit when you do better you attract nothing but the best but it starts here in order for you to trust yourself to let go to allow yourself to get to that step of feel good you understand yeah, some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all want to make a, some of y'all want to start over with a Taurus. Some of y'all could also be with an Aries. I feel like if you had issues with this person, if finances was the issue that kept you guys from actually having a stable environment, some of y'all are actually going to have, I'm literally hearing, I'm literally hearing, uh, literally hearing, <laughs> Oh shit, I won. Oh shit, I won. Y'all better believe in miracles and play the lottery during this time because y'all really have, uh, um, a heavy financial abundant energy on y'all back. King of Pentacles here twice. Yeah. Some of you want to give, some of you want to give to a family situation. Some of y'all literally, you wanted everything to be fair. Okay. But I feel like <laughs> some of y'all are just going to find the fairness and being by yourself and giving equally to your family from a distance because it's what makes you feel better. Again, I go back to saying Capricorn makes you feel better. Some of y'all are wanting to move into, uh, some of y'all are going to be trying to move into higher levels of commitment. Come through these engagements. Who finna get engaged? Congratulations. Y'all better come in and let me know. Congratulations. These new babies. Congrats, Mocha Love the Kids. Congrats, babes. Also, some of y'all. Some of y'all really want marriage from a Sagittarius, and some of y'all want to move forward in marriage with a Sagittarius. Some of y'all really want to, some of y'all feel stuck in the marriage, literally stuck in the marriage. But during this time, you're going to find out a, 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 find out some some form of deception that's been going on that you've been feeling but couldn't prove it. It's going to hit the fan now. 
That spirit is calling for you to have strength and not feel as if you weren't chose or feel rejected or feel as if you weren't good enough because this is literally your get out of free, get out of jail free card, baby. You better take it and run your ass, run your ass around the board to the goal lot, to, to the, to the goal stop. You understand? And do it again. Because if you've done it once, why can't you do it again? I've been down nine times, but I get up ten. That's my girl. You understand? Because she said the really shit ever. You're a cardinal. We are creators. Don't be a only thing to fear is fear itself. What you scared of? Your own success? What you scared of? Winning? What you scared of? Being by yourself? You learn so much about yourself sometimes when you're by yourself. And can't nobody tell on you because some of y'all got some fake ass friends that got that's in y'all business too. Can't nobody tell on you if you was by yourself. This is this is a very this is a period of truth. Some of y'all gonna find out the truth by stalking somebody's page. That's all right. However the hell you gotta get it as long as you find out in order for you to move towards your new shmana. Blessings. Blessings on blessings. Over here looking like this King of Pentacles with the magician card two times two. Some of y'all having to start over. What you scared of? Your success? Because it's looking like new shmoney. It's looking like new foundations. It's looking like new love. It's looking like the truth around here. Some of y'all looking like King around here. Then you scared. What you scared for? Stop being scared. Get out your own way. Only thing to fear is fear itself. And don't doubt yourself. Trust what you feel. Remember, people lie. Spirit don't. Trust your dreams because during this time, y'all, some of y'all opinions going to be pouring and some of y'all are literally going to be dreaming the truth. And then you're going to see it hitting the reality and you're going to be like, what the? God is trying to tell you something. Will you listen? This is what I have for you guys between the 1st. I'm sorry. Now the 30th of September. If you need that personal, hit me up. I will see you guys back here in October, maybe before then, because I really want to go live and do a Q and A. So I will see you guys back, and I love you very, very much. Much love, much light, many blessings, much abundance. Namaste. Bye, y'all.